Today, I would like to introduce two very useful tools in QGIS that can help you to make a map and finding some um, base data. The first tool is called uh, Quick Map Services. So in order to use the tool, you need to um, find, find it uh, under plugins and uh, install it first. So let's go to your map menu uh, under plugins and manage and install plugins. So here uh, you need to search um, the name of the tool, which is a uh, quick map services. And uh, you will see that option um, pops up. If you don't see this tool, uh, it might be um, you didn't set up correctly. So go to settings and make sure um, there's an option called uh, show also experimental plugins. Um, this option is checked. Um, so this means if there are tools that are not formalized, they are just exper experimental, you can still use those tools. So after that, um, click Quick Map Services and the Install Plugin. So this will take uh, a very short time. And after that, the tool, the tool is installed and you can find it under the install tools. And then let's close this box. Quick map services tool gives you a variety of landscapes and also urban features. In order to use this tool, you need to go to a different uh, sub menu, which is a uh, web. And you will see that it's installed under web and quick map services. And they have provided you with base maps from different sources and companies, such as 2GIS, Esri, of course, Google, Mapbox, and the OSM, which is a OpenStreetMap. So in addition to the Esri, which everyone knows, I would like to introduce two different maps. One is a Google Map, and if you use Google a lot, most of the time you're using their road map. So click on Google Road, you see this map is exactly the same as Google. When you zoom in and zoom out, you can see different um, features across scales. The second map you may consider using, um, or I recommend using, is called OSM Standard. So this standard map has a different view than Google. And because that is under Google Road, we need to move this either up or uncheck the Google Road. So th this OSM standard map has a very different uh, style than Google. You can see there are less features and uh, they are most most likely road-based, um, and, and the Google road, uh, the Google map has a lot of facilities. So that is our first tool. And let me introduce you the second tool. The second tool is called Quick OSM, or OpenStreetMap. And you can find it under Manage and Install Plugins. And uh, in the search box, type in quick OSM. And uh, the tool will pop up. And the installed plugin. And the close. So this pl plugin is hidden under a different menu. And this is under vector. Quick OSM, you can see that menu is on the button. And the uh, Quick OSM. So what is this tool for? This tool gives you a lot of base data, such as restaurant, hospitals, schools, etc., which you can not normally find on the website. And uh, all these data are provided by public users because they are 
published on OpenStreetMap, which is one of the largest open access mapping communities. So there are three different values you need to put in. One is called a key, another is called a value, the third is called the keyword. So you may be a little bit confused about those three values, and I would like to show you a website for explanation. So this website is a OpenStreetMap Wikipedia. It gives you the categories, also called keys, and the subcategories, which are called values um, for all the facilities. So for example, uh, there is a key or category called amenity, and a subcategory includes different urban um, facilities, such as bar, barbecue, cafe, fast food, etc. And the elements means what kind of data types you can identify um, after the OpenStreetMap search. So this means a node, and uh, this means a polygon. And also they have the explanations as well as the photos for each facility. So let me give you an example. So for key, you can just use the drop box and select amenity. And uh, for value, there is also a drop box. Let's try um, Let's try which one. And here is your location. Mm, so you can type in the name of a town, the name of a village, the name of a county. And uh, I would recommend this to be as specific as, specific as possible. So for in, you can type in stores, AT. So stores is a town where Yukon is located. After that, run the query. Then you will notice that there are two, um, two values or two layers added to the layers panel. One is a um, polygon, another is point. You can right click and zoom to the layer. And you will see those layers, the dots, are overlapped with the base map. Um, let me use the Google map, which gives you uh, a better view of those restaurants. Of course, um, for this search box, for the, for the result of the query, you can save them as your own map on your local machine. So just right click. For example, I'm going to save the points, right click and export. And you can save the feature as a shape file located in your local machine. So I hope um, this tutorial will be useful to help you to locate new data and new base map for your own project.